me. Sure. Um, may I? Do I have to stay here in the men's unit still? Yeah, I don't make the rules up there, but they okay. should make a proper accommodation for you. You should be in a separate, a separate area. When it comes to the truth, everyone knows that gender. Everybody knows you have to stick to it, even if you can come online and be a delusional fuck. But like, to be honest, this happened in Nigeria too, when a female influencer was caught doing something and they were like, they asked her to go to the prison. They checked her, she still has a dick, so they're going straight to the male prison and it's, it's like that. Like, girls like this. Do you think it's a red flag that you're single at 30? No, not at all. So why'd your last relationship end? I cheated. You cheated on him? Yes. And that's why you're single? Yes. Why do you cheat on him? I was still in love with my ex. So he was a rebound? 100%. Well, how long were you with the rebound? Him for a while. So you were messing around with the rebound while you were with your ex? Yes. So you cheated on both of them? Yes. Crazy, right? But hey, we changed. Yeah. Are you sorry for cheating? 100%. I've forgiven myself and them. Literally just openly admitted to cheating on, on both her exes that is absolutely insane guys um but she owned up to it we got to give her that you know we got to give her that maybe it was because she wasn't ready for a relationship who knows whatever the case is don't cheat guys it's not good we're gonna she belongs to the streets and i just realized some of you may not know what a packer is that's a packer it's intended for girls under five to put in their underwear so that they have a bulge that mimics a penis. <laughs> this is for a girl under five. It's intended for her to put in her panties so that she has a bulge that looks like a boy's. So might as well give it a try, right? I don't wear pants very often, but let's see. I'll put my little packer there. <laughs> okay, so I'm a grown woman, and this actually gives me quite a nice bulge. So can you imagine having this in a, a little girl's panties, a little girl who is under the age of five? And this is clearly supposed to look like a penis. It's, it's got, um, it's a circumcised penis, interestingly enough. I can't even imagine what parent would buy this for their daughter. A child under the, under five years old and then in the morning say honey don't forget to put your packer in to me this is reinforcing gender dysphoria in a really quite profound and ugly way um, one of the things I hear trans advocates talk about all the time is that being transgender is not about the genitals and yet this here product is for little girls children who aren't, aren't even in kindergarten yet um, I'm not entirely sure what kind of message a little girl would get by having something like this put in her underwear so that she can start her medical transition under the age of five. But I suspect it would be an incredibly unhealthy message that she would integrate. And if a parent starts doing something like this, it's really hard for me to imagine that their little girl would say, I am not a boy after their parents put something like this in their panties and say, there, now you're a boy. And if a parent is buying this for his or a child, like, it's really, really heartbreaking. Like, this breaks my heart. I feel like crying right now. Like, these work parents need to calm down. Like, you need to really, really calm down. Like, a child, a lot of people regret this thing. It's not talking about a child at five. I want to talk to the kids. Parents watch the video and then hand the phone over to the young kids. Hi there. I dress only for myself. Going no contact will feel worse. Can't lie to you. <laughs> you are saving the relationship by destroying it. Thank you. If you have no family, you can be in my family. Hi love. Here are three ways to disrespect your elders. Sometimes we're a boy, sometimes we're a girl. Um, cause human beings are creatures and we're wild and exciting. I'm at the shopping mall, LOL. <laughs> if you need a new family, you're welcome here in this family. 
on this page. Hi, you're safe. You're not in trouble. There are no girls' movies. There are no boys' sports. Happy Pride. <laughs> no. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. 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 Hell no. 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 I refuse. No. No. We're asking people why they are protesting here today. Because I want to see Empire fall. What empire? From the U.S. to Israel. The empire that's propped up by capitalism. And free Palestine, free Congo, free Sudan, free Haiti, free Hawaii, free Puerto Rico, liberation for all. So people that come out to protest don't even know the reason why they're protesting. Why do a gender reveal if it's not a human yet? If every man from your standard mm -hmm. is a 10, then why would you have preferences at all? I don't have a preference. Then how come 15 seconds ago, I just asked you this question and you said, I've turned men down before, but it's because they don't meet my preferences. Yes, but not in terms of like how they look. Maybe in terms of personality or things how like that. How would you know their personality? What's the Wait, fastest what you you've ever turned a guy down? I would say, yeah, like two seconds right away. Yeah, like two seconds. So you don't know Very anything about his personality. Yeah, you don't, don't know anything. That. Wait, you know nothing about his personality in two seconds. So why are you turning him down? You can know He's something about somebody's personality in two seconds. On Depends on their approach. Yeah, Yeah, this is probably the most over-the-top amount of lies I've ever heard out of a woman on this show. This okay. consecutively. <laughs> Every man on planet Earth is a 10. You have no physical preferences whatsoever, and the only reason you've ever shot a guy down is because you can tell everything that you need to know about their personality in two seconds. Do I have that about right? I guess so. Everybody has some physical qualities they want to see in a person that they want to be with. So when you don't say it, you turn the person down. She's saying it's the personality. It's just her trying to act like a nice person. What do you bring to the table? I'm not going to answer this question. This is just something that I wouldn't answer in a date, I'm not going to answer sure, here. Fine. I'm not going to answer how many books I've read. <laughs> okay, uh, what do you expect men to bring to the table? Integrity, clarity, consistency, a strong connection to divinity, not necessarily religion, but some kind of purpose-based lifestyle. So what is the female equivalent of that? The same. Then why wouldn't you just say that at the table when he asks you? So my body count is 500 and it got me thinking, what is the average person's? Like 20? I feel like 20, surely. I know mine is a little bit high compared to most people's, so don't get me wrong, I'm not out here thinking that's normal. I like to have fun, what can I say? But I feel like 20 is like a, a good round whole number, right? What's yours? <laughs> Yeah, this, this is just giving me the shock of my life. How can your body count be 500 because you like to have fun? I, I don't see she's up to 30 and your body count is 500. Bro, average is not for 20. I think average is 5. Why would you have more than 5 body count and you have intentions of getting married? Like, I really, I see, I this is something I tell my friends. Like, there's no point of it. Even when you have fun, like, have fun till you die. Don't have fun and say, now, now I want to sit with somebody. One that have kept himself for herself and now you have like 700 500 body count bro and you're not 30 yet this is crazy i'm an extremist want... because i say no abortions and if that makes uh -huh. me extremist hell yeah i'm extremist right. because you're killing babies is wrong you're extremism causing family causes women to almost die causes women to die do you think you and your support of abortion is causing people to die you just said that my view that there should be no abortions ever is causing women's eyes. That's a pretty freaking big charge. Do you think it's your not, I view? Mean, it's, it's true. No, it's no, not. that's actually not true. Do it's you true. think women your have view? Died because of restrictive abortion laws, right? Women die when abortion is legal. You do know that, right? That women die okay, every, every but, year from legal abortion. But it's not because of, of abortion laws. So your extremism promoting abortion is allowing women to die. Women die every year from legal abortion. Not to mention the 800 thousand to a 
million okay. babies who die. You're saying, you're saying, okay, women die from abortion. I'm in favor of women being able to choose to have an abortion. So, so I want women to die. It, well, that's, so then, a, that's no. the position you just argued for me, sir. No, that's then, what you just said I am. You said, because I said there, I should there be no abortions, no exceptions, that I am responsible for women dying. And what no, I'm no. saying is, if you advocate for abortion, if you want to own that term, you are responsible for the women who die from legal abortion, not to mention the 800,000 to a million children. This guy's a Muppet. Like, abortion is wrong. Like, we all know abortion is wrong. It's not something you should argue about. Like, based on your morals, like, it's wrong to kill a child. Like, people do gender review. You see the sex of your baby before it's born. So, the baby is actually... We all know the baby is going to turn up to be like us. So, you say, nah, killing the child is... It should be legal, it's totally wrong, and it's heartbreaking to see some men, also women, coming out here to see that nah, women should be allowed to kill a child. Now, nah, if you don't want to get pregnant, use protection, protect yourself from getting. See, this is why there is ad I saw about Durex yesterday. <laughs> they said, No child, no pregnancy is a mistake. You know you're supposed to use protection and you didn't. It's not a mistake. You choose to make that decision.